One bullet blessed by words like freedom and democracy. One bullet adorned with colors of red, white, and blue. One bullet that opened Che's body in Bolivia, that reddened the balcony in Memphis, that entered and left Salvador Allende's presidential palace. Hey. Y tú vas a mirar las cosas y como que te dio hambre y como que, wow, ya está hecho el pan, cortado. Pero vas a coger el jamón, mira. So I'm here in uh, Omigueros, Puerto Rico, um, at the home, the former home of Filiberto Ojedo Rios, uh, who was assassinated in 2005 by the FBI. And uh, this is my third time visiting, uh, but it was the first time that I was able to have access to the inside. And um, one thing that struck me was, um, you know, we came here focused to work, and we were real focused on getting the project done, had our storyboards and our ideas and the visuals we wanted to see. Um, but then as soon as the door opened, you realize that this is a sacred space. Um, where someone was, was murdered, um, where someone spent their last breath struggling for something they believed in, which was the independence of Puerto Rico. Um, and then you can just see the bullet holes everywhere. Um, there's different estimates, but some folks have counted up to 180, 190 bullets entering the home. Um, and when I originally wrote the piece, Blood Dries Black, um, it was really a simple image from a photographer that I saw the blood that had dripped down um, a step on the front door uh, for the home of Filiberto. And that image struck with me. Um, I was in Chicago at the time, and as I was working at a youth center, there was a young man that was killed that same weekend, um, and his blood actually was still left on the sidewalk. And these parallels in my mind started to connect around the issue of, of blood, and then if you don't clean up blood, it turns black. And so the poem Blood Dries Black was created from kind of that juxtaposition. Same bullet that hung Angel Cristobal Rodriguez and the bullets that bloodied the streets in the countryside of Mexico, Cuba, Panama, the Dominican Republic, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras, and the many other places that have been hidden behind documents and paperwork. 